warriors used a banner or other symbol to identify specific units and to serve as a rallying point for troops. Before the Civil War, in lieu of a national color, U.S. soldiers carried a blue silk color on which was embroidered the arms of the United States and an American eagle, bearing a shield on its breast and in its talons, an olive branch and arrows signifying peace and war. After the national color was authorized, the organizational color with the eagle became the regimental color. Today, the colors with battle streamers attached join their unit in formations during ceremonies to signify their presence during past battles. At this time, the command group will case the colors. In accordance with deployment orders for Operation Enduring Freedom, the colors of the 26th Yankee Brigade are case for deployment. Said colors shall remain in such state until the command has relocated to the Afghan Theater of Operations. Signed, John A. Hammond, Colonel Commanding. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the benediction delivered by Chaplain Lieutenant Colonel Paul Miner and remain standing for the Army song performed by the 215th Army Band. <laughs>
think about this ceremony this afternoon? Oh, it was very good. Very hot following. Uh, a lot of dedication from the community, state, uh, family members. Mm -hmm. you know, it, was, it was very well put together. Is this your first yeah. time going out? It's my first time going out. will be my last. i got 19 years in the guard. I'm retiring when I come back. So. And who do you have today to I have my family, I have my two daughters, two twin daughters, uh, my mom, my sister, my sister's uh, two kids, her husband, my girlfriend, a lot of friends and family. I'm also a firefighter EMT for the time of the day. So I had my chief down here and a lot of fire guys up here. Okay, General, what did you think of the ceremony today? I thought it was wonderful. Yep. Absolutely wonderful. Have you been to a lot of these ceremonies? No, I haven't. I have to come out to this because uh, three of my members and who are all good friends are deploying with the headquarters. Oh yeah? Uh, Colonel Fridman, Colonel Brian, and Master Sergeant Murphy. Those members maybe the best Also to see a lot of old friends. Uh, when I was still in service, uh, many of these colonels and senior officers were uh, privates and uh, young lieutenants and captains on the make. So it was... Uh, yeah. Kind of fun to come back and see everybody grown up. Yeah. <laughs> now, what regiment were you involved in? I uh, commanded the 101st Engineers for many years. We were in the 26th Infantry Division and then in the 42nd Division. The 101st is the oldest organization in the United States Army. Back in 1636. Um, what did you think of today's ceremony and the support from the Reading community? Uh, I thought it was fantastic. I said to the town manager, I said, did you know of anybody specifically deploying to was from Reading? He said, no, I don't know. And I said, I think that is what says it all about Reading, the outpouring of support, the, the fundraising for the sweatshirt, the community, the police, the fire, the schools, um, you guys in the schools, the students. Uh, I think it speaks volumes about the Reading community. Uh, and the recognition that, you know, of appreciation for the families uh, and the servicemen and women. Uh, I'm Major General Joseph Carter. I'm the Adjutant General of the Massachusetts National Guard, both Army and Air. Okay. So we've had many of these ceremonies, and if you attended today, you would learn that we have deployed over 8,000 soldiers since 2001 yeah. in support of the global war on terror, and in total, both Army and Air, over 10,600 soldiers and airmen have deployed in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation New Dawn, as well as other uh, contingencies throughout the world. Uh, what did you think of the turnout today and the support from the community? The support from the Reading community in particular has been exceptional. The fundraising effort of over $9,000 to buy each one of these soldiers a sweatshirt that they will so much need in their off time, which won't be much uh, because we're going into the winter season in Afghanistan, uh, will be a cherished gift. And I understand that there's funds left over for emergency travel that I hope they don't have to use. But I just want to uh, close, if you're done, by just thanking the Reading community for your exceptional support, to thank the school in particular for allowing us to hold this very, very, very important event here at your school. Good luck and God bless you all. Thank you.